Personal computers have forever changed the way we access and use information. One special tool has made them easy to use by almost anyone, and it enabled an entirely new industry to thrive. It's a tool most of us use every day, and it has the humblest of names, the mouse. The mouse made its debut in a visionary demo by Douglas Engelbart and his team at Stanford Research Institute, now known as SRI International. Today, they call it the mother of all demos. If in your office, you as an intellectual worker were supplied with a computer display backed up by a computer that was alive for you all day and was instantly responsible, responsive, <laughs> instantly responsive to every action you had, how much value could you derive from that? In 1968, at the IEEE Fall Joint Computer Conference in San Francisco, California, Douglas Engelbart led the first public demonstration of tools we now use every day. They included hypertext, real-time collaborative editing, networked computing, and the mouse. The demonstration illustrated how computers could not only harness our collective human capacity to solve important problems, but also be easy to use. And clearly, if you're going to do something like that on a computer screen, you have to be able to identify something on the screen. You have to be able to point at it. It turned out that the mouse was by far the best device to do that. People picked it up and built new versions of it. It was just great. And that was it. That's how the mouse came about. Twenty years ahead of its time, the technology was licensed to companies such as Xerox PARC, which made further developments to it in the 1970s and 80s. The device was first made commercially available on Apple's Macintosh computer in 1984. The personal computing industry took off, and the mouse was indispensable to its success. Since 1984, millions upon millions of computer mice have been sold around the world. Personal computing is big in business. Even with the rise of touchscreens and tablets, the mouse remains an indispensable productivity tool for office workers. Personal computing is also changing how teachers teach and children learn. The mouse has become an integral part of the learning process. Personal computing was just part of Douglas Engelbart's vision to solve humanity's most important problems by using computers to improve communication and collaboration. So let's give a hand to the mouse, which put the power of computing in everyone's hands.